from Isle of Souls, Carl Darlow, and you're watching Newcastle Fans TV. Hello Newcastle fans, TV, and welcome to the Henri Savvy Show. Yes, Henri Savvy, who you ask? Who? He has let his mouth go. The man who we let on loan to see in Etienne for the rest of the season has been caught with France football, which I do think it is quite genuine because they're a decent, verified publication, you know. Um, he's had a right go at Rafa, an absolute right go, and the club in general as well. It's wrong to do that. It's very wrong. If he's been misquoted, well, I'm sorry, like, but he's been misquoted about four or five times. Nah, nah, I think it is genuine. Right, let's begin. What he said about um, joining Newcastle, first of all. So he said, I had been recruited to play and I was not playing. It was hard. I had the impression of being paid to do nothing. It was horrible. You there, you're useless. So that's what he said about being around the club. Not a good start, is it? Now, what he said about Rafa, okay? So he said, Rafa is a great coach. He focuses on tactics. A little too much, but he's a great coach, so a little dig at him already. When he arrived, the group was lost, low on confidence, and there was just 10 matches remaining. It was complicated for him. The leaders had asked him to play the English players. It's like that there. They even said that in the championship was for the English players, not foreigners. Because they like to play every three days, they like to fight well. We foreigners, if we were given the confidence, we could have done that. So, Mr. Henri Savvy, your suggestion, your suggestion, suggestion, sorry, that Rafa Benitez has been told by the likes of Lee Charnley, Graham Carr, Bobby Moncur, uh, even Mike Ashley, to pick English players. So, Rafa's come into the club and being told what to do. Are you got your fucking heat screwed on, mate? He come, on to the, he come into the club and said, right, I'm having this, I'm doing it my way, or I'm not signing the contract. That was part of the fucking agreement, you fucking heed the ball. So you come in, Rafa made the decisions straight away. Why are you saying that? Why are you saying that for? That Rafa's been told, how a man? How a man? Sort your fucking act out, man. It didn't stop there. It did not stop there. He kept going on and on. So he went, basically, about his contract that he was given at Newcastle. So this is the dig at the board. It makes me laugh. The contract I had at Bordeaux was more complete than the one I had at Newcastle, with more bonuses on games and played and European qualification. So yeah. I heard the comments coming from pundits who had then left to other networks or other radio stations. They didn't do that for free, but I'm, it's only human. It's worth pointing out I preferred the contract at Bordeaux. Well, if you preferred the fucking contract, why did you fucking sign it, you fucking retard? Why did you sign the contract? Why? If you're signing the contract, I bet you, I bet you doubled your wages, that Newcastle, I bet you doubled the wages, and I bet you we're still paying for your wages over and saying at the end. I bet you we are. Us as fans, season tickets, pay for wages. Not so much nowadays, mind the, the TV money, but you get my point. Uh, what, your agent would have sat there and went through the page after page in fine detail of your contract, and he signed it. You were advised to sign it. You probably didn't read it all, mind, but you signed it. And he's criticising for, for having higher wages. You didn't criticise, you don't, what's, the, what's that expression again? You don't bite off the hand that feeds you, isn't it? Don't bite off the hand that feeds you. Newcastle put food on your table. Right, can he knock, then he aren't I? Right. Um, right, and then about the French players coming over to Newcastle, right? Okay, this, this one is a good one, right? Listen to the very end of one, right? He's turned around and said, when I arrived over there, I told myself, the French clearly let themselves go. It didn't make sense otherwise. So he's basically saying when he, you're looking at the France players, some of them weren't playing. It must be the French players that cannot hack the league, you know? That's what he's saying. It. Then I observed a lot. I quickly realised that the French players who played less were as good, if not better, than the English. Okay? Then I asked myself, why bring in French players if not play them? It's stupid. I could have asked Graham Carr that myself. And then he went on to say, bit by bit, I started to realise that this, what going on at the club, was really weird. Right, this is where it gets good. Goufran, yeah, Aubertan, oh yeah, for example, were, for me, way better than those who would start. Yeah. So he's saying that Gabriel Aubertan and Johan Goufran are better on the wing than Andrus Townsend. Yeah. Let me just point out when Andrus Townsend came to the club from about... Back end of January to the end of the season. He was our best player. 
by a shadow of a doubt. Yes, his dad went in the back in the summer, but Townsend got his England call-up. He was our best fucking player. So you're saying, Henri Savi, that Gufran and Obertan are better than Townsend. Now, if we look at the left-hand side, right, at the English players, there's only Rolanda Aaron who's English on the left side. Jorginho Wijnaldum played out there at times. Ayose Perez played out there. We had a problem at the left wing all season. We did. It was our problem position, right? So, he says that Gufran and Obertan are better than someone on the left. He's got a shout, I have to say, for game-wise, because they should have been playing. But Obertan was fucking injured half the season. You know what I mean? Why, why is he having a dig in Newcastle? Now, the question is, and why didn't Steve McLaren? I mean, Steve McLaren is fucking shite. He doesn't have anything. He should never be near a, near a Premier League side ever again. If Steve McLaren's not playing you, you've got fucking problems, mate. You have. You, I'm getting on like the truth, Jordy tonight. All right, Brian. If you've got real problems, like, I'm sorry, like. But if Rafa doesn't even play you at all, doesn't play you over the summer, is it his attitude? Is it his attitude? He's had a right fucking go tonight. I'm kind of wound up, aren't I? <laughs> I'd love to know your thoughts. Fire away. See you later.